Okay, it's Eric again. You money. <laughs> Back again. It's been a long time since I set up the brew. Getting ready to do a partial uh, brew here. I um, want to show you how I get my water in first. I use an RV hose, especially for uh, RVs, fresh water. Doesn't leave any bacteria or anything in your, the water. I then run it through a filtration system that I have set up with uh, coal. Cleans the water, makes it taste great. It goes right into my hot liquor tank. I'll heat that up to temperature. And I'll send it over to my homemade mash tun. It's just a Coleman 10-gallon uh, cooler. And I've actually made a, took a little stainless steel faucet holes, converted it into a strainer. I run it through there when I'm laundering. Roll offing, excuse me, and I'll just run it through my high performance hose, heat hose, run it through there to my March pump right here with the stainless steel valve, adjustment valve, and I'll run that through this piece of high performance hose back over, and I'll roll off right into the mass tub until it runs clear. And once that runs clear, I have a quick disconnect here. I'll disconnect it. Add it to this hose up here to the male disconnect, run it into this part of my boiler, my kettle, which I have with a dial gauge and a homemade sight glass. Works good for me, plus it was cheap to make. And uh, I'll start my uh, brew. Here's inside my kettle. I'm cleaning it out right now. Trying to clean everything up, get it ready for boil today. And today, either today or early tomorrow morning, we're going to be doing a couple of brews. One is a uh, Jamil's Chocolate Porter. And I'm also going to be doing a Kolsch by More Beer. And then we'll be doing some lighter beers. That'll be an all-grain video. You'll get to see me get down with the all-grain portion of it. And there's some of my equipment I use. It gets to be overwhelming after a while, so prepare yourself. As you can see, I've got stuff for days and days for brewing. Just getting around it to some time to actually do it gets to be kind of crazy. So here we are, getting ready to brew again. So got my propane, a couple of tanks already ready. And there's my little brewery setup. Got some extra pumps over here and my old war chiller. And now I got a new one that I use. You know, all pressure fittings, got the gauge on it and everything. I can read it. Nice big chiller. Quick disconnects. I got a temperature gauge from Accurite. And this uh this really gets it cooled down to temperature for pitching your yeast really quick. Sure, it beats the old way. The old way works too. This is a new upgrade. So until next time, I'll show you me brewing this recipe on the next video. Take care.